United had landed in hell. This was drastically different from any other reception, a new definition of hostility. To this day, it was the most hostile atmosphere that I've ever seen. We got to the airport, they were smashing the, the glass down trying to get to us. It felt like the coach was being rocked. Just for outside the stadium, it was a lovely place. The hotel was lovely, the, the lovely scene, everything. It was beautiful where we stayed. And the people were nice, but as soon as you get in there, it's just like a switch. You know, and um, you know, the hatred of, of you know, some of them was, was unbelievable. Um, but I mean, if, if, that, if that's how they do it, just to scare the other teams, if it means get a test right, getting results, then that's how it is. You come across hostile crowds, maybe countries which aren't as developed as others, you know, um, old style grounds um, that can be quite daunting. And, you know, the smoke that surrounds the grounds, the smell of, of maybe the, the cigarettes, different cigarettes, just little things like that, really. I think they'd been in the, the ground from like lunchtime. I think they'd been in the six or seven hours. So that was the norm really. And, and of course, Man United coming to town. It's a massive game for him. Go. I'll take the waiting to get the police. Excuse me. You have to wait all together so that they protect you while going out, okay? Because they might throw things on you, okay? <laughs> we walked out and it was just the most incredible noise that I've ever experienced in my life. Open the pitch, you couldn't hear yourself talking to the next fella. Um, so volatile. I'll never forget the, the singing each side of the stands to each other. It was just an unbelievable display of passion from them. Jumping up and down like that, and I was like, oh, here we go. On the field, the football game was pretty uneventful, but the night will be remembered for what happened off it. Eric Cantona, incensed by the time wasting tricks of Galatasaray, snapped. I think the referee, had, after the whistle, had sent Eric off. Obviously, Eric was a bit upset because we'd, we'd not got the result. You had to go through like a tunnel of, of police to, to get to the change rooms and then you went underneath the, the ground. All of a sudden all their police started just trying to pick fights with us with the lads, you know. To be honest, some old Bill cop just hit him there in the head, you know, it just kicked off. But we had a few who could look after ourselves in them days as well, so we give as good as we got. But it was certainly different, you know, when big Rottweilers are biting you <laughs> in a football match and uh, policemen are hitting you with truncheons. It was a real bad night for us, but what an experience for me at the time. I think I was probably 18, 19, and you know, something that you probably learnt more in 10 minutes than I had done in the previous two years playing for the reserves and youth team. Sometimes, you've, if you don't talk at all, it's get more of an impact. And it was one of these nights we're all sick, you know. You glad to get out of Turkey? Oh, you bet. I'll not be going back.